Uh, hello and welcome to Reykjavik Greipain's newscast. My name is Valur Grettisson and I'm an editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Greipain. Uh, if you're thinking uh, about why I'm standing on this bench, is, this answer is simple, it's wet. <laughs> but Art wanted me to start here because of this. Uh, well, I have to mention it now, it, it's a new setup. Uh, used to be a very different setup here, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, first of all, uh, what matters here is that we had a question, like uh, for our newsletters, uh, some days ago, weeks ago. Uh, and we have a winner, and the winner is Johanna Tschetschner from Germany. Uh, I am pretty confident that I am saying this very wrong, the last name, so uh, just uh, ignore that. Uh, I hope you understand your, uh, my pronunciation, <laughs> Tschetschner, I guess. Uh, she's from Germany, uh, and she won, I don't even remember what, but what she actually, uh, she answered the question correct, uh, what, 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 what of these uh, Yule lads were wrong? Uh, they were, the, the one that was wrong was pan uh, or Pönnusleikir in Icelandic. It actually sounds very convincing in Icelandic because all of these names are quite weird. It's like Gauta, Thevur, Stekkerstöur and so on. But uh, pan was wrong and 350 people uh, answered that, uh, uh, that quiz, uh, which is uh, a new record for us. It was pretty, pretty fun. Uh, also, uh, what we want to ask now is we want to keep, keep on going with this uh, quiz because I love them. And, and here is the quiz for, for now. Uh, it's, uh, and keep in mind, you have to answer this uh, through the newsletter. Uh, you will find that in the link down here. Uh, and you have to just register it before 3 o'clock on Friday, this Friday. Uh, so, which one of these is not the name of the legendary Icelandic Julilat? Uh, is it Fjörlappi or Sjör Larry? Uh, or is it Gáttathefur, Dor Sniffur, Ketkrókur, Mithúk, <laughs> uh, Spúnleikur, Þvörusleikir? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, which one of those characters is not one of our famous Eulalads? We have 13 and they all have the silly names. So, uh, the, actually, yeah, the, the prize this time is the sweet Christmas box. Uh, so this is, and also we are selling this, of course, and there is 20% off when it comes to this. And there are a lot of just nice, uh, nice stuff in this. <laughs> of course, I love this. My mom always uh, ate this. She was always buying it. Uh, it's like a chocolate with, uh, with orange and orange taste and, and caramel something. I don't know how to, it's krk in Icelandic, but. Just learn Icelandic, it will make everything so much simpler. <laughs> so, uh, keep in mind, we are selling these boxes also because there is like this Black Friday, a very American thing actually, but don't be worried because all the capitalistic elements that are in, are in Iceland are very much from the US, uh, adopted from the US culture or the UK. Uh, we even have the exact same uh, sales always like the UK and so on. So, uh, because of the Black Friday, we are we getting this, there is this 20% off uh, there is actually, before that we had 10% off, so it's like, it's, it's technically 30%. At least that's what my manager says. <laughs> so, uh, but there's a lot of things in news and just on with the news, right? So, we're going to start with COVID-19. It's still a thing, uh, it's still going bad. Uh, we had last, yesterday, we had around 200 cases. It was the second biggest day from the beginning of COVID uh, pandemic in Iceland. Uh, but this doesn't mean that uh, we are having a state of emergency in Iceland. Although, gathering restricts have gone down to 50. Uh, when it comes to uh, people that are like allowed to go to events, uh, <laughs> Uh, then we have 500 if they do the rapid tests. So it's a, it's a bit like, uh, let's, let's go here. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a bit of a mess, to be honest, but uh, not that many are at the hospital, but still enough to have uh, a serious situation. We have around 20 people. There are a few that are in critical care. No one has died yet, thankfully, but we know it from the last, last wave, which was in May. Now from uh, last summer, from July to, to end of August, 
that we had three deaths like completely in the end of everything. So it is way too soon to be optimistic about that. Uh, so uh, the situation now is that we are up to 584.7 in the incident rate past 14 days per 100,000 uh, residents, which means that Iceland is very much a red state right now when it comes to uh, traveling here. But it doesn't mean that uh, the, 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 the state of things is grave in Iceland, not at all. We are actually, it's, it's quite normal uh, and it's quite uh, fine. Although we have uh, lesser tourists, of course, on the streets. Uh, but I mean, that's just how, how the pandemic more or less is right now. Uh, and then to the next thing, which is very, very serious stuff. It's a uh, blood mess. It's a weird one. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, there was a video uh, posted yesterday by this uh, Animal Welfare Foundation. Uh, it's an association that fights against like, uh, cruelty against animals. Uh, they had a hidden camera, and you can find this on our home site, grapevine.is. Keep in mind, it's, it's very disturbing to watch this. Uh, there you can see how uh, Icelandic farmers are uh, not treating horses very well, even beating them, poking them with uh, iron sticks, and there were very aggressive dogs following these, th these horses. It's horrible to see this. Uh, the thing is, uh, what is a plot mir is perhaps what I need to uh, explain right now. Uh, it's, I, it's, uh, the thing is that uh, there is like a thing in Iceland where like uh, it's, a, it's legal for some reason. I mean, I'm, I'm completely against this personally. Uh, not the most, uh, I'm not very like, uh, what do you call it? I have a, a very strong opinion about this because it doesn't seem seems a very good way to do this. But uh, the, the blood mirrors is when uh, when uh, they are taking blood out of these horses, uh, these mares, when they have, uh, when they are uh, pregnant. I'm not sure that's the right, right word. We have a very different word in Iceland. It's field footler, but it's a complicated one. Uh, but the thing is that uh, when they are pregnant, they take this out, uh, this blood, uh, and they sell it uh, to uh, pig farms as a aphrodisiac afro afro <laughs> uh, for pigs. Uh, and it's an incredibly valuable uh, kind of uh, industry, mostly because uh, it's more or less legal in most countries in the EU actually to do this. Uh, so uh, farmers, each farmer is getting around five, four, four to five hundred euros uh, for this business. And there is one big company called Eastac that is, uh, they, are, uh, they are getting billions of Icelandic krona through this. Uh, and they are the one that has been criticized heavily for this. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, over 100 farms have been doing this for 10 years now. Uh, 5,000 mares are used in this purpose. Uh, and one member of the parliament, uh, Inga Sailan, she's for the People's Party. Uh, she has been very, uh, she, is, she is very uh, vocal about this. She has been criticizing this uh, publicly. Uh, and she wants this to be, uh, be uh, discussed at the parliament. And she just wants to ban this. Uh, and not the only one. Uh, that's sad. Uh, of course, uh, like uh, uh, like the people in Eastag have been trying to say that this is not how they do business, but uh, must. This is uh, uh, find it here, like a like a body of vegetarian. Uh, Yeah, the Veterinary and Food Administration uh, says laws have obviously been broken in these videos. And these videos are, like I have to say, very disturbing. Uh, and therefore, uh, it, it's pretty obvious that, that there is something, some really wrong going on here. Uh, and we, we, like, this happened yesterday. Uh, we haven't had that much uh, news, like, uh, like, uh, correspondent about this. Uh, people haven't, like, the, this company has said that this is not how they do business, but the images actually tells uh, a lot how this is done. Uh, so, and I, once again, I mean, we, we didn't want to show you this in our YouTube channel because uh, it's just it's just absolutely cruel to show. Like, it's, it's, this is cruel stuff. 
Uh, and uh, if you if you want to see this, you want to know what this is all about, then just visit our homepage grapevine.is. Auntie Sophia Fontaine wrote an uh, excellent article about this. Uh, and talking about the parliament, you're perhaps wondering why these uh, bars are here. Uh, it's the, the reason is actually simple. Uh, today is the first day of the parliament since uh, since June. We haven't had such a break between uh, parliament in, on parliament since 1987. They haven't been working now for almost almost what five five six months. Uh, and always when they are on the first day, they go to this church here and then they walk over here and these here are like some kind of a riot bar so what do you call it uh, i think we call it in icelandic oerdar grindur this is basically the riot bars uh, and uh, often uh, not perhaps today there are many people here and they are often like if they're really upset with the, with the, with the politics they for example throw actions on such of course this is not allowed but this happens uh, that's it. Uh, we are actually expecting a pretty quiet day today, but it's interesting though because the, the parliament is in a mess. Uh, they haven't, like the, the new government, which is the same as it used to be here, uh, were uh, like negotiating for weeks to become a new, new coalition. Uh, and what's interesting here is that uh, uh, there didn't seem to be any like uh, problems going on with this, but they are probably stalling in many ways because of the counting mess in the northwest of Iceland. I've of, of course often told, told you about this. The counting mess is more or less about uh, that uh, there was a counting in, in Borgarfjörður uh, or Borgarnes uh, and there they were uh, they they counted the votes the day after uh, like they counted the votes uh, basically wrong like uh, the basic, uh, basically the, like they, they found out that they were wrong and the, the count it changed a lot when it came to uh, to the supplementary seats uh, and this system in Iceland is very confusing it means that uh, we get another uh, members of the parliament from other places and this can change quite rapidly so five members of the parliament went out and five new came in because of this recount now uh, there is a committee on in the parliament that have been uh, investigating this and there is a lot of dodgy stuff that has been happening we don't really know what, uh, what this is because they, today they're actually going to show us uh, uh, what do you call it, like uh, this report about the findings uh, but what we do know is that there has been a lot of weird things going on uh, even when the, the, the investigation committee went there they found uh, a, even a, a new ballot that was supposed to be uh, valid but wasn't, uh, in the, in the right, uh, wasn't on, in the right place so it, it seems that this is becoming quite a mess. So the parliament will now on Thursday meet uh, and they will have a, a vote about this. And they have three things to vote about. Uh, the first thing they will vote about is to uh, say that the first count uh, was correct. Uh, the second option is that the second uh, count was correct. Uh, and the third one is to vote again only in that district, in the, the northwest. If they do this, uh, it doesn't really have to mess up everything in the, in the, at the parliament. This means that the, the, the members of the par parliament that are belong to that district are kind of, uh, they, they are just out for now. <laughs> uh, they would have to wait until basically uh, the vote would be in and then we would, they would have to show, see how that would go. But this will not change anything when it comes to the coalition because the coalition, they crushed it. They crushed it actually in a brilliant way. Um, they like all the, these three parties. They had well more than the, there is Loa, a friend of ours. She is a, she's fleeing now, but she's a cartoon uh, artist, of course. And she's been she's do, does your emojis, by the way. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, this doesn't mean that anything will change, but it could change a lot for the smaller parties because uh, the minority they actually they lost these elections in a pretty bad way. Uh, so, uh, the middle party, for example, this is like our kind of a left right party. Hey, there you are. It's like a very conservative party, perhaps not left right. It's like I don't even know what that is anymore, especially in Iceland where we just have uh, conservatism. Uh, but the thing is, of course, that uh, this party could actually uh, lose a man. So, uh, so, this could be a mess for the minority. And therefore, the minority is not that uh, keen on voting again. 
uh, they kind of just want the, either the first or the second uh, election to be uh, to, to, to stand. Uh, most of them probably the second one. But I mean, uh, the the public is not on this on the same page. It feels like the public are. There was a poll though, where the public said like uh, they were they, they did not like to vote again, uh, and that's also because Iceland is just uh, we we don't like the, we don't like the mess about it. We, we don't really want to go. But this have happened often, not in Iceland though, but around the world. And uh, what we know is that uh, when this happens, there will be fewer votes uh, and so on because people are not in the mood to do this again. And therefore, the coalition will probably only, uh, the ruling coalition will only get stronger. But it doesn't really matter when it comes to, uh, to the, like, the stability of politics in Iceland. But it's interesting though, you can see here, of course, there are a lot of, there are police officers walking around here. Uh, and these guys are here because uh, uh, we have this this place here is also like our place to protest. Or Icelanders, for example, when the, when in 2016, 30,000 people came here, Icelanders, to protest the government, and then that was the the prime minister was in the Progressive Party, and he was, for example, in the Panama Papers. He of course resigned, but he founded this middle party, uh, but which is uh, seems to be in risk right now if they would uh, go again with uh, with uh, with this vote. So. Uh, this is it though for today, uh, yeah, uh, just remember of course uh, our, uh, our questions here which is uh, which of the, these is not the name of the legendary Icelandic Jule lad? is it Fjörelabbi or Sjör Laddi, Gáttathefur, Dór Sniffer, Ketkrókur, Mithúk or Spoonlikr, Þvörusleikir and you will have, of course have the sweet Christmas box here police, how's the day been? Uh, is there any danger going on here? No. Everything is just <laughs> like always. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. So we're fine also. Uh, of course, we have more stuff. We have also the great Christmas box if you want to go grand. Uh, Helgi, our man in marketing department, has been putting these tree branches in every box. So if you, if you want, you can get this Icelandic uh, Christmas smell. It's actually hilarious and fun idea. Uh, I love those guys. They are always very inventive and very fun. Uh, and yeah, until next time, of course, like and subscribe. And don't forget our membership if you want more. We have a lot of stuff coming up and we are producing as we can. Uh, and yeah, so until next time. Understand? Yeah. Oh, yeah.